we've been looking at spreadsheet models of this event for like the last 10 months. So we showed up here about April on April 3rd um, the Park Avenue Armory. Um, we had nothing in here, just some wooden floors, um, a big cavernous space, and uh, in about six hours, seven hours, we laid out the whole conference setup um, with the drapes and the carpets and the porches. It, it just came together in a kind of amazing way, and um, finally to see it actually all um, coming together was just uh, quite satisfying. We're filming the entire thing, and uh, so in a way, for the people to come here and speak, it's great um, to get their brand out there and network with people, but at the same time, it um, kind of has more lasting value because it'll appear on our websites. We had about um, 770 people uh, register for the event. Uh, of course, not all of them are here at any one time. I mean, this event is about, you know, 70% larger than it was last year. Um, we had a focused, buyouts focused event last year. This year we expanded to cover real assets, venture capital, um, and expanded our coverage of fundraising. had over 60 different sessions. Um, that included a dozen on DC and growth, a dozen on real estate and real assets, um, a dozen on buyouts and mergers and acquisitions, and then another dozen on um, fundraising designed for the LPs who come to our event. Overall, we had 230 speakers. We had over 150 LPs at the event. That doubled the amount that we had at this event last year. We had a great crowd on the first night for Henry Kravis. He's one of the best known investors of his generation. He's an active philanthropist. Um, he recently pledged $100 million um, for the growth of the Columbia Business School. Please help me welcome Henry Kravis. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you all for uh, having me. I appreciate it. Today, uh, we're in a business where I don't know a country, literally a country, that there's not some private equity uh, activity in that country and that there's not a financial institution uh, in that uh, country that's participating in what we'll call private equity. So, uh, much more competition today, many more companies that, are, that understand what private equity is, many more companies that are prepared to sell their business or get capital to have growth capital. I know Josh Lerner's comment in the, uh, the panel before was, uh, was very telling in which he thought that the emerging markets uh, were going to be a big uh, push into the future and 10 years from now, that would be a big part of it. I think he's probably right, uh, and that really comes as growth capital. So today what has morphed from buying a company, buying a private company, you can buy public companies, take them private, you can buy subsidiaries of public companies, you can provide growth capital, private equity invest up and down the capital structure today all of which is different than what you had before. We have like Bennett Goodman from GSO. Please help me welcome, we're very happy to have him here, uh, Bennett Goodman. Are people getting paid properly for the risks they're taking on? Huh. Well, uh, that, that's a good question. Uh, you know, it starts with treasuries, which I think are, you know, a horrible investment, quite frankly. Um, because of this uh, monetary policy that's being deployed throughout the U.S. and Europe, uh, Treasuries are just too low. I mean, they are what they are. You can't fight it. But if you think that the 10-year should reflect the nominal growth rate of GDP plus a normalized rate of inflation, you probably should have a 10-year closer to 4% instead of 2 and a quarter. Tim Draper um, from DFJ. We are going to see uh, quite a big boom in, in venture capital because you're going to see Facebook go out and people say, oh, I guess you can still make money in, in venture capital. And then you'll see a few others go out and then maybe some will, will list on expert and others. Um, I actually think that if you have a really big revolutionary idea and it's software on a cell phone, it can spread really fast. So you can get to be worth a billion dollars or $10 billion in a much faster time than you ever could before. And then on the investor side, we had uh, Eric Hirsch, CIO of Hamilton Lane, and we had Kelly Williams from Credit Suisse. Uh, 
Exec Connect is a big, big component of our conferences now. Um, it drives a huge value for the GPs um, who come to the event and are interested in meeting with investors. Um, we work really hard and we have our, our own processes and methods for getting GPs set up with the right LPs and the LPs uh, set up with the right GPs. And, and frankly, uh, the proof is in the results that we've had. Uh, we started this about three years ago at an event in San Francisco. We had 25 private meetings. Um, at Partner Connect 2012 this year, um, we'll have more than 250 meetings um, across three days. And the majority of those are between um, uh, LPs and GPs, but we also have meetings between lenders and GPs and bankers and GPs. A large number of GPs got over 10 meetings with just LPs. Um, the GPs take these meetings during the event, during the panel sessions um, of the event, um, we have a lot of GPs coming to us and saying, you know, we'd love to do the meetings and we also want to be in the panel sessions. And for them, we offer something called a partner pass where you can send six people from your firm so that way you have the meetings covered and the panel sessions covered. And uh, a lot of people are going that route and sending, uh, you know, a big delegation from their individual firms. Overall, our client base is very senior. Um, over 80% of the folks coming to this event are senior decision-making, GPs, LPs, lenders, and bankers. Um, north of 90% of our speakers are managing director, managing partner, um, or CEO and CIO level. The goal of this event uh, really is in the title of the event, Partner Connect. Um, we're trying to bring the right people together. We're not just herding hundreds of private equity folks into a room and hoping they meet the right people. We actually have a system for that. So instead of spending thousands of dollars and weeks of your time traveling around, um, making these connections on your own, um, we do it for you and you meet all those people right in one place over the course of a few days.